everyone, my name is Alicia Hash. I am a native of Walnut Cove, North Carolina, which is a small town outside of Winston-Salem. Grew up there, undergrad. I went ahead and moved to Greensboro, attended NC a and State University, Aggie Pride. And from there, I taught one year in Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools. And my husband received a job here in Wachovia, here in Charlotte at that time. So we relocated our family here to Charlotte. And from there, I taught in CMS for about seven years. I received my master's in educational leadership from Winthrop University. I received my national board certification throughout that process as well. And I've been at several schools in CMS, Oakhurst Elementary, Berwick Elementary, which was one of the newer schools that was built in the southwest area, Lincoln Heights Elementary, and now I'm the principal here at Cotswold Elementary. Right now, I had a chance to talk to you earlier, and you told me your hometown was a little bit like Mayberry. Can you elaborate on that? Exactly. My hometown is one one long street, Main Street, two stoplights, and everybody knows everybody. And honestly, it is an exact replica of Mayberry. And they never changed our downtown or anything. It's just like that. Small town. Small town feel, so small town girl. There you go. Now, are you any relation to the corned beef hashes? Um, no, I'm not. Just the hash browns. Oh, the hash browns. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have thought of that one. I don't know why. Now, what do you do for fun? Um, hanging out with my girls. I have two little ones, Caitlin and Kirsten. Kirsten's eight. Caitlin will be four in December, and we really have a good time just having our girl time and just being with my husband. Of course, we incorporate him in too, but love going to the pool, love going to the movies, but just that family time. Great. Now... What drew you to teaching as a profession? My mother is a teacher, and my family is full of educators. So that's all I'd ever really been around my entire life. And sometimes when you grow up in the house of education, you think you're going to do something different, but you kind of find out it's a natural gift that you have. So my mom was a phenomenal teacher. Like I said, grew up in a small town, and everybody thought Miss Giles was the best. So I was just like, okay, well, I feel a natural instinct to work with children. So that's what drew me in. It was really my gift, my passion. Great. What is different about being a, uh, an educator in the classroom versus being an educator in the corner office, so to speak? The things that are the same, let me say this, is you're always doing what's best for children. The things that are different is you're able to build capacity in teachers. Because great teachers make great classrooms, and great leaders build great teachers. So you're able to implant that le the leadership skills that you have and your passion for education into other teachers. So you just have a wider range of impact. What have you noticed different about Cotswold so far? Uh -huh. I know you've barely gotten your ankles wet, much less anyone. What have you noticed different about Cotswold? so far compared to some of the other schools you've been at? The family environment. The staff is very close in it. The staff has been here, the majority of staff has been here for 15 plus years, which speaks remarkably for the leadership that's been here and the program here at the school. So because the staff has been so consistent, they've built a bond that I haven't seen in other schools. There's a lot of new schools in CMS, so therefore the heritage and legacy that's here, I haven't seen anywhere else yet, so that's very exciting. Do you think the IB curriculum has anything to do with that? I do, because I think the IB curriculum brings about that freedom and flexibility, mm -hmm. and it is allowing teachers to be innovative and be out of the box. And they're able to do that in the parameters of what the magnet is about. So the IB program has really influenced that. And teachers can, can be who they are within the curriculum. What can, well, new and or incoming parents expect different coming in this year? Different, we are accelerating the innovation. You know, we're looking at being a 21st century learner. We know there have been some innovative things here, but we're really looking at our TD program, how to promote that even stronger. We're looking at our <clears throat> literacy program. We're bringing in a literacy team this year so that we're really meeting the needs of all students at all levels. Not to say it hasn't been that way before, but we are really accelerating the innovation. We're looking at technology, the teachers in workshops now, so that when they come back this year, they're fresh and they're ready with technology, and all teachers are going. Our new teachers versus our 
and our veteran teachers. So everybody's excited about our Common Core standards, just going into that and implementing that with our IB because it correlates so greatly. So just innovation. Is the, this is the year of change and innovation. Very exciting. Now, we've got more than 700 kids coming in at the end exactly. of August. Where are we going to put them all? <laughs> well, we have developed a plan so that all of our students will be in our building. So we're very fortunate that we don't have any students in any uh, mobile units. You know, we're going to utilize those for some special area classes and some different things. But we've designed a plan within the school that all the students will be in the building this year. So no <laughs> classes in the cafeteria are. yet? No classes in the cafeteria, <laughs> nor on the stage, nor in the <laughs> teacher's lounge, which I've heard has happened other places. <laughs> Indeed. The bell change is a big issue for a lot of parents. Um, of course, that means 45 extra minutes, or mm -hmm. however you want to couch it. Are there any plans for those extra minutes? Yes, it's going to be called Cougar's Call, and it's going to be an accelerated literacy extension time. So we're really doing, looking and doing some great things with literacy, but it's going to be called Cougar's Call time. Well, can you elaborate a little bit, or I'll be letting the cat out of the bag too soon? The cat will be out of the bag, <laughs> but, but capturing all learning, all learners near Cougar's Call. So we're really focusing on that and extending our literacy time. Great. That sounds exciting. Looking <laughs> forward to that. What are some of the biggest challenges and opportunities coming into a new school? The biggest challenges are different for different schools. The biggest challenge for me here is this is such a great school and they had such a great leader that I really have big shoes to fall in. So for me, it's just, you know, becoming a part of the school and becoming a part of the team, which everybody's been so welcoming on. But just knowing when you come into a great place that's already been nationally recognized and, our, and it's already known to have a fabulous program, making sure you continue that legacy and also making sure you enhance it. Now... Advice for incoming parents. What would you share with a parent that's new to Cotswold this year? My advice would be to work with the teacher. Really work with the teacher and just know that they're doing what's best for your child. My advice so also would be to, uh, to make sure that you're being involved in the school and knowing what's going on in the program. Be familiar with the IB program. I know sometimes parents come in and students come in and they're not really familiar with the program at the sites that they're coming to. So become familiar with the IB program. Get plugged into the PTA, SLT, making sure you know you're a part of the school because we want to hear everybody's voice. We want everybody to be able to make decisions and just know that being a partner with the teacher the teacher and the parent working together is the most successful component to a great education. Great. Well, thank you, Ms. Hash. I really appreciate your time. And we look forward to seeing you when school starts. Thank you so much.